Okay, thank you for bearing with us an additional eight minutes beyond what I said. I apologize. I was the one who was behind the power curve on this one. Okay, we have um, a revised version of document eight for your consideration. And so uh, what I do is ask the secretariat to walk us through uh, what we have here. Claudio. Okay, basically, it's just to show you where it is, it's now uploaded. If you go to documents in English, in the website, under draft for discussion, you have now document A, structure of CHY, drive one, working doc. This is the original uh, discussion document, if you click on it, with the uh, additions proposed by Harry Dixon this morning and incorporated by Bruce. I'll, I'll download it so that you can see the track changes in the Okay, you, you see the working doc, and uh, let me go to the, well, just the name of president and vice president have been included. And these are the changes we discussed with the modification from the floor. For instance, here it says, uh, let me put it a little bigger, gender equality instead of gender balance. Okay? And with the, I will not repeat because this is what um, president already introduced. But now you have a way to read the whole document at your leisure. And I don't know if you want to give some minutes, President. Okay. 15 so 15 minutes, the President, in his magnanimity, <laughs> has just given you 15 minutes to learn the document by heart. And, and, uh, and then uh, the delegation will be asked, will be called, and. Uh, and <laughs> to recite <laughs> each part. No, really, just my su a suggestion. We need to review because I, advisory working group and EC have endorsed that we should limit to six areas each one. And you will see, as, as Australia pointed out, that there are a couple of groups that have more than six, have seven, I think. So we cannot have more. We sh even if we have more members of the working group, we, there should be suggestions to, if we want to keep a new, the new one proposed, we have to delete one of the other or merge two. We should not have more, if not we are inconsistent with what EC has asked. So the only way to do this is that you read properly during the next 15 minutes and at five to five, we will open the floor for discussion, okay?
While we're waiting uh, and we're getting close to having things wrapped up here, one of the things I want to, uh, to comment on is that so far we've received only six replies to the survey which you can access from the, the CHY15 website. And you'll remember the other day I, I requested that, that, that members do fill out that survey. Um, it's important to do so because there are questions in the survey um, that, that could bear significantly on reflecting what these what, what our commission members actually feel you know there's some questions like did the meeting lead to concrete action that greatly benefited your organization well you got a yes or a no and you can comment was the value for money in terms of travel and manpower of the meeting of significant value for you uh, did the document that was that, that we're working through now touch on the most essential issues in an optimal way was the length of meeting optional? There's one question, there's a bunch of questions here. There, there actually aren't all that many, but there is one question in particular that says, should the current WMO commission structure be revisited? Now this is the question that gets it back at this exercise that EC is going through right now. And so it's something that I would value hearing uh, from commission members. Uh, are they happy with the structure of the Commission for Hydrology? Or would they prefer that we be combined with some other commission like Ag Meteorology or abolished altogether? These are the, some considerations that, that some in the organization have put on the table. And so, and again, you know, all of this is up for debate, but your responses to these questions will help me greatly when I go to the PTC meeting or when I'm meeting with the Executive Council Strategic and Operational Planning Committee um, in conveying what it is that, that the Commission for Hydrology actually feels. So please, just take a few minutes to go through and, and fill out that questionnaire. It would help us a lot. Thanks.
Okay, if everybody's ready, we, uh, we can now look at uh, document eight. Um, so we've made uh, adjustments to the document based on, uh, based on the input. So Bruce, if you would like to scroll down through this thing. Just be, be, before we go through it, the, the document that you're about to see, there have been some additional changes made, but these are totally with respect to the outcome of the, the selection committee. So addressing the concerns of the Australian delegation earlier this morning where the number seven's changed to nine, and that, but, but they're, they're the only um, other editorial things on top of what the document you have got. So they're, they're very factual in nature, thank you. Okay, thanks for that, Bruce. So if we could just begin to scroll down. Okay, you can see uh, where there was the highlight for to not more than six activity areas. Um, I mean, that was the idealized um, recommendation that came from the AWG, although it wasn't something that was a requirement. Um, it was just a recommendation on our part. Um, furthermore, two additional sets of desired outputs. Okay, we've added an 8.8, .8, and this is a, something that gives me a little bit more flexibility. Noting the dynamic nature of the activities and the continuing requests coming to CHY during the intersessional period, the Commission requested the President of CHY to apply the required level of flexibility to the management of the AWG to ensure it operates in the most efficient and effective manner. And this is just to ensure that we're not overly constrained in the way we have to do business, given the fact that we're gonna have a lot of other things probably pop up that none of us in this room would have foreseen. So this will make it easier for us. So I assume that that's not an issue. I don't think it changes anything fundamentally in what we're trying to do. Okay, we can keep scrolling down. Um, okay, we've got the decides to adopt. Okay, now we've got the, the new AWG members uh, listed. And what we've done here is, is we've crossed out an assignment behind each name to, uh, to a particular task area, like measurement, monitoring, and info systems. Uh, my recommendation to the Commission would be uh, that when we get to our first AWG meeting in a couple of months, it would be at that point where we could begin to assign individual AWG members to, uh, to particular tasks. Because right now, I think it's, it's premature to do so. Uh, we have a number of names here. Not all of them may be the best match for the tasks that we end up having to do. And uh, I, from, my, from my standpoint, with past experience on the AWG, it's always better for the group to have a little bit more flexibility when we come in. So um, that's why we've scratched out the assignments behind the names. Uh, and I would hope you would, uh, you would agree with me on that. Okay, Bruce, you want to put that in as a, an 
Okay. Um, so is this statement 8.8, .8, including what we just added at the end, something that uh, members are comfortable with? We can live with this? Okay, great. What I would like to do here, so everyone understands as we're going through this, is to reach a stage where we're all comfortable and can approve the document so that after we've approved it, we can then send it back to Geneva, have them do all the translations, and then tomorrow morning when we reconvene, that's when we'll adopt it. Ostensibly, when everyone's had a chance to look at it in their own language, there won't be any further need for changes unless there's a mistake in the translation. But other than that, we'll just proceed with adoption in the morning. So that's the, the premise of how I'd like to proceed. So as we go through this, if you have a question about any of these uh, statements or changes that are in here, uh, raise it now. Okay, so are we happy with this statement? Okay, I see some heads nodding, so let's move on. Okay, so then we had urges members to nominate additional experts to the Apache with due consideration to promotion of gender equality and to ensure the availability and participation of all members of the Apache into this, the, the activities of the commission. Does this capture the intent of the interventions that were made? No problem with this. Okay, we can move on. So in, uh, Yeah, okay, so here in the Annex 1 to the resolution, under 1.1, in the middle of the, of the paragraph, we have added the Global Climate Observing System, GCOS, Global Cryosphere Watch, GWC, Project Office. Okay. Uh, under the focus area of coordination and implementation support, which is the place where the vice president and myself and probably one other individual would do most of what we're responsible for. We've added, and the GHSF Advisory Council, which is the body that will supersede the Wycos International Advisory Group, or WIAG. Everybody happy with this? Again, it's consistent with the conversations we've been having uh, when we raised this document before. Okay, coming down to 1.2b, there's capacity development rather than education and training. And then a statement at the end of that paragraph which reads, consider developing open source and community of practice solutions to promote the transfer of technology. And again, there were interventions about this. Is this agreeable? Okay, continuing on. Okay, we have a, a G following in the sequence uh, dealing with data centers which says establish a small task team to prepare a report with regard to the evolving role of GRDC, IGRAC, and HydroLayer, and liaise with the president of CCL with respect to the involvement of GPCC. So this just completes the issues that, uh, thanks, Sean. It really stinks getting old. You can't do anything anymore. <laughs> Would you say? <laughs> okay. So, uh, why are we going back up? Right there. So, um, any comment on this statement about the data centers? I think this captures the sense of what we were, what we were looking to achieve here. Okay, under focus area, measurement, monitoring, and info systems, the very first uh, sentence. That makes seven topics. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, we're, we're going to go through the text now. We'll come back and reconcile questions after we finish with this. Uh, so under 1.3, uh, originally we said three AWG members will. This was in the, the, the documentation that was prepared before the session began. Now what we're saying is the AWG members, whomever they are, however many they are, we'll just keep it generic here and say the AWG members will. Um, does everyone agree with that? Again, it's keeping with giving us the maximum amount of flexibility to, to assign people as appropriate. Okay. And the same thing here under the hydrological applications, products and services focus area. Again, it would be the AWG members. And then under uh, parent A, just below that, uh, we would add a statement to the end under uh, water resources management and drought. Um, this could be achieved through the establishment of a community of practice on droughts. And again, this gets back to this point that members were making about a community of practice. Everybody comfortable? Okay. We go to B, and this is a new addition, the Global Hydrological Status and Outlook, oversee the establishment and work of the expert team coordinating the pilot phase of the initiative. And I think this is just one of the essential additions that have to be in there. Under item C, uh, we had extended before, uh, but there's been a considerable amount of discussion uh, actually over the past several months about how we would refer to this. And I think the consensus among everyone that we've talked to within the commission is that we would refer to this now as seasonal hydrological prediction. So if everyone's comfortable with that, that's the terminology. Czech Republic, please. Thank you, Chair. Just a minor correction. Uh, second line from the bottom, it stays EHP, so we have to correct it as well. Thanks for that, Jan. Okay, item D. Under DRR, we've added behind the manual on flood risk mapping, comma, including investigating the applicability of common alerting protocols, CAP. Are we comfortable with that? Again, it's consistent with the discussion that we've been having. Okay, item E, community of practice for flood forecasting. In this case, it would be develop assessment guidelines for NHSs that was all in there before, but then after the semicolon at the end, we would say develop access to the interoperable technologies, including platforms and models for use in flood forecasting. Semicolon, provide access to training and guidance material on the aforementioned items, semicolon, and assist in the development of projects and work closely with the development of the capabilities and functionality of the Integrated Flood Management Help Desk. This just specifies the individual things that are associated with this item. Are we happy with this? Yes, you have the floor. Russian. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Uh, we would like to propose a new naming for this item because uh, we think that uh, wording community of practice uh, has already, um, you know, uh, used several times uh, in the document. So uh, perhaps uh, we, can, we can propose the following uh, name. Um, implementation strategy for the end-to-end -end early warning systems for flood forecasting using the community of practice approach. So it will it will bring us to a more direct uh, meaning of this item. Yuri, give it the, give it the Bruce slowly. Implementation strategy. For the E to E early warning system, systems, EWS, 
could be here. For flat forecasting, and then in parentheses, uh, using the community of practice approach. Thank you very much. Thanks for that, Yuri. Um, are the members comfortable with this suggested change in the title? It's actually probably a little more accurate description of exactly what's going to happen here, so. No objection? Okay, thanks. Uh, so when we get down to the bottom of that item, we have, oh, so we've already talked about that. There are no other uh, comments on this second part uh, that begins with develop access to. We're all comfortable with that. Okay, moving down to the next change was under item G, APFM. Uh, work with APFM on provision of guidance and training material on E2E, EWSs for, and again, that's end-to-end -end early warning systems for flood forecasting through the IFM help desk and other topics such as preparation of guidelines on how to formulate numerical weather prediction information for use in flood forecasting. And this just addresses the one concern that uh, I think it was China that came in with an intervention on, so. Does this work for everyone? Okay. So then down under item D, lower in the page, we have develop a manual on sediment transport measurements and then parenthetically including both suspended and bed load and prepare related training material. And this was the intervention that came from Italy Works for everyone? Okay, great, thank you. Go on to F, review of CHY regulatory material. And at the end of the statement where we say uh, context of WMO effort toward improved consistency and then we're adding and liaise with the AWG as required. Just a little bit point of clarification about uh, about the, the breadth of, uh, of cons consultation that can take place. And then under item G, public-private partnership, uh, specifically respond to request of resolution 67 from Congress 17 and liaise with a AWG as requested. Bruce, could you scroll up just a little bit to the top of that line? Okay, this is all under activities to be supported by the Secretariat with the support of experts from Apache that do not directly involve AWG members. And so that's why the wording and liaise with the AWG is actually in these statements. So are we comfortable with these, these various issues? Okay. Okay, then we can move on, Bruce. Uh, and I guess that's it. We go the activities to be implemented if one or more members volunteer. Um, Okay, the one thing I would want to do in this area is just to make sure that there are no members that don't see something on here that they're concerned about that they would be willing to step up and take a leadership role on. That is, we put these out from the AWG standpoint of things that we already knew we had been asked for. Um, we're suggesting that if members want to add something to this list, 
with the understanding that they're willing to take the lead for that task, um, you have the opportunity now to, to add it to the list. No? Okay then. Um, then that just goes through the document and the annex to the resolution. We've covered the resolution. So, what I would suggest at this point is that um, if the members are completely comfortable with the contents as we've just gone through, that we go ahead and approve this version in English and then send it back uh, for translation and then tomorrow morning we'll be ready to, to go for formal adoption. Uh, Czech Republic, please, and then, yes, Russia. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, sorry for bringing that. There are actually two or three issues that we want to address. First of all, at the very end of the document, there is a graphic which also has a number of AWG members assigned. So uh, whether it needs to be changed or just get rid of the old graphic uh, from, from the document because we don't see it necessary to be included at the, at the very end. It was very nice to understood the future structure, but I don't think it's necessary anymore. So that's, that's the one. But as there is an annex too, so if it's referenced it above, it has to be considered as well. That's one of the topics. Secondly, you run very fast through those items and concerning uh, the application areas. I'm afraid that right now, if you scroll down a little bit, yes, so right now we have two completely same statements under D, uh, E and G. If, uh, as, uh, the, as the new proposal from Russian Federation ends with capabilities, or, you know, is concentrated on early E2E early warning systems and capabilities and functionalities of IFM help desk and very similar definition appears under APFM as well. So maybe we can also consider the reflection uh, of uh, our resolution of uh, our decision of EC, although we think it, that was only a recommendation to have six bullets uh, and to move APFM, which appears three times as a topic, once for the secretariat issues covered by Apache members, once within the application uh, domain and once in the coordination and simply to join it uh, under the coordination issue which would enable us to, to a little bit shorten the text uh, but still keeping the APFM issues addressed there. And of course I'm doing that uh, mostly to make happy Mr. Claudio Capone because he wants the six items under each issues. So what, uh, what Jan is proposing here is that we would move uh, that item on APFM up to the coordination and implementation support. Um, and that, it, I mean, for me, that's fine. It's, it's, a, it's probably a, an appropriate place to nest that activity. Um, and that also relieves some of the burden that shows up in that, that other thematic area. So, okay, Jan, you have the floor again. Okay, so if you can go to, to uh, the coordination group up there, sorry, so our proposal would be to change C as follows. APFM and IDMP represent CHY on the advisory and the management committees, so we can then delete in concern with a relevant AWG member for hydrological applications, products and services, of APFM and represent CHY on the advisory committee of the, of the IDMP as per operational guidelines of the two programs, comma, including topics 
such as preparation of guidelines on how to formulate numerical weather prediction information for use in hydrologic of, in flood forecasting consistent with FFI AG work plan of that or get rid of this completely this is taken from 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 the statement uh, or from from the definition of the topic down there so uh, a little bit further exactly and here APFM so that's the very end of the sentence uh, starting yeah with topics exactly just to one comment because this is not Mr. Claudio Capoli it was the advisory working group you that in February decided that just to be sure to divide into the APFM the, the work the technical work it was under this group the other one was the representation of the president or the, in the in the steering board that's what I'm so I suggest you because it was discussed it, we are doing this very fast so we might have one item under the prices and the first part which say representation in different committees and put several things together but you understand because we are we are we are uh, now joining two things that the advisory working group on purpose had separated so, and and i agree that it might be too many items under the first group because we are putting separate representation but if we put representation in as chair in all committees were requested by the Congress, then we could join several topics in there. That, that was the, your idea. I remind you of your proposal. Okay, that was my idea. We only wanted to reply to the demand to shrink the number of items under each topic to six. And we saw that uh, as there was obviously a new item on hydrological status and outlook, that this might be then joined together because from the position of AWG and Commission, the representation and activities towards APFM are one. Uh, but where this uh, just proposed to, to, to split the technical and uh, 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 the representational role. Anyway, we are pretty fine to keep it there if we have seven items and we are happy uh, ready to, to have a seven items but then we have to consider rewarding of this item uh, after uh, well with respect to uh, uh, the item uh, the newly named with very awful long name of building implementation strategies so, sorry I didn't I don't, I don't remember uh, because those two are uh, using uh, or targeting the similar activities from my point of view. Okay, Jan, what I'm going to suggest is that you send some wording in. And then what we'll do is, rather than worry about any approval this afternoon, we'll just get agreement on what we want to see in a draft two, and then have that come back tomorrow uh, that we'll discuss. So if you can send in some appropriate words for readjusting this, that would be fine. Just for clarification, uh, well, giving our discussion right now, do we want to have six items here? So should I provide a, a wording for removing or moving APFM issues to one, to two, to there? Or uh, are we all happy to have seven items there and, uh, and, and, and define them uh, as originally intended uh, uh, with the technical part and uh, 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 the organizational part between those two topics or thematic areas or groups or whatever? Yeah, I, I think in this case, with this new wording that we're looking for, that between whether it's five members or seven members or whatever, I'm not sure that worrying about whether it's exactly six is, is that big a concern at this point. So um, 
you know, I, if you have some additional wording, but I, I, I wouldn't want to be overly prescriptive about trying to revise the arrangement of things or condense things or combine things in order to meet a target of exactly six. I think that's less important than in the aggregate. We just don't, we're clearly not overloading uh, a, a topical area. So if you're comfortable with that arrangement, then, uh, then I think we can continue to move on. Absolutely, that uh, is preferable from my point of view. So I would only ask now, Bruce, to uh, reject all those last uh, changes because they are not valid anymore and we will provide a new text and I would ask you to sit, sit with me for, for five minutes to try to draft it, consider all those uh, you know, interconnected bullets there. Thank you. That's perfect, thanks very much. Okay, I think I misspoke before. I called out uh, Russia, but I think we mean uh, Romania. Uh, you have the floor, and then Italy. Um, <clears throat> thank you very much. Uh, I'm new in uh, this meeting, so uh, if uh, I'm wrong in my statement, please uh, please uh, apologize for, for this. Uh, I think that uh, it's indicate is indicated to, to stated the role of the hydrological advisor in this document or maybe in other documents. So to state the hydrological uh, advisor role between the sessions, because the hydrological advisor is the main um, person that um, must help. To, to implement these strategies, these politics in each country. Uh, uh, in this document, uh, this document reflects the, the, the activity of OPACH uh, groups, but not of the hydrological advisor. Maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. Thank you. Just to respond to that. Um it's actually something that the advisory working group had given some consideration to during the past session, uh, whether or not we should have regional hydrological advisors attend every advisory working group meeting. And I think one of the solutions that we came up with this time was, for one thing, the program of work that we lay out as the commission program of work doesn't necessarily constrain the regions to do everything that we're saying here. Yes, we'd like what they do to conform to what we're doing, but we have to take some consideration of the fact that each region may have unique things that it's doing. So the regional working group on hydrology, while in a general framework, should conform as best as possible to what we're trying to do, it's also possible for them to do other things. And so one of the solutions that we sought was, and as we mentioned earlier, this time around, we're hoping that we can designate an AWG member to be a regional liaison with each of the regions. And perhaps it would be with the region from their parent region. Um, and that way, they would have someone um, on the advisory working group who was in communication with the, with the other hydrologists in the region. So your point is a good one, but I think we've found a solution for how we can address that. Okay. But I, 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 on, on addition of what the president said, I, I think you, you have a slight confusion because uh, you are talking of national hydrological advisor, of the role of national hydrological advisor, and this is not the document. This document is not addressing the party. It's only addressing the, the Apache. So that's why it, you are right that it's not here because it should not be here. We cannot tell the region. It could be a suggestion, and it has been discussed in the past to to have a, a document perhaps prepared by the CHYOs, what should be the role of the National Hydrological Advice, but that's something else is not in this document. Okay, Italy, you have the floor. Thank you. Um, at page eight, uh, under the activities to be implemented if one or more members volunteer to lead their implementation, we would like 
to add uh, an additional point F on environmental flows, which could go like environmental flows, hydrological processes, management, and ecological response. Yeah. Um, hydrological processes, management, and ecological response. Yeah, it's just a semicolon after environmental flows, I forgot to say. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for that, Martina. And I'm assuming that um, you're willing to take a lead on this. Yeah, we are already doing some things about it. So, yeah. Of course, I'm masochist, I told you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Anyone else want the floor at this point? Ah, yes. Costa Rica, you have the floor. Muchas gracias, señor presidente. En el punto, en la página 5, en la parte de focus area, focus area, el punto B. Sí, en el punto B me gustaría considerar la posibilidad de agregar dos palabras al final de después de tecnología, que sería el manejo de conocimiento, o la, ma, perdón, la gestión del conocimiento. Eh, en ese caso sería y la gestión del conocimiento en las instituciones. Es, son solo dos palabras, pero implica un concepto que me parece muy importante de, de enfatizar en las instituciones. Gracias. Thank you for that. Others? Okay, then let me ask uh, this. We're at 5.38 and um, the interpreters have sort of reached uh, their their point of saturation for the day, and um, and this is, we're already eight minutes past uh, our scheduled time with them. I just want to make sure that the members are comfortable now with what we've done uh, this afternoon, such that tomorrow morning we can then come back and um, and finalize this document. Are we Are we comfortable that we're at that point where we can do that with document eight? Okay, seeing no objection, then that's what we'll do. We'll finalize this tomorrow morning. Okay, then tonight, uh, after you've had a couple of beers, or glasses of wine, or shots of brandy, whatever, please fill out the survey. <laughs> Now, I would say don't do it after you've had seven or eight glasses of anything, but certainly after one or two, <laughs> feel free to do it then. Anything from the secretariat? No? Read the documents. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine. Uh, thank you all for bearing with us today. It's been an intense day. There's been a lot going on, but uh, we'll finish things up tomorrow. Thank you very much and have a good evening.